Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make these fun and really cool graphics using a new online program called Kittle. It's a graphic design program that you can make all kinds of amazing graphics and logos and so much more, and the best part is you can get a subscription free with my link below. All right, let's jump in and let me show you all about this really cool program called Kittle. Kittle is an online web app built to make your computer complex design easier and empower you to create like a pro. It works right in your browser and is complete with fonts, illustration library, pre-made templates, and so much more without the need for an expensive software or hours to learn how to use them. You can try it for yourself and get three months of the pro subscription absolutely free by clicking the link in my description. So head on down, click and get your free subscription, and then you can download and use the free Mother's Day card templates that we're going to make next. So I start off with making a card size that is in a five by 3.75. So it's a little bit smaller than an A2 size card. And I pick out a font that I absolutely love and the colors really inspire me. So I size it up and make sure that I change it to Happy Mother's Day because that's the theme of this card. And then I go over to the flower selection and start picking out flowers that really just inspire me. When I click on one of the floral sprays or the actual flowers that speaks to me when I scroll on down because there's a bajillion flowers in this inventory, which is amazing. The colors that were from the Happy Mother's Day, the original font that I picked, I can select so they match perfectly. I don't have to hunt them down, which is fabulous. And then I go through and I just start kind of layering. I can pick which ones go in the front, which ones go in the back, how they align, how large or small they are. I can rotate them and I can just do all kinds of stuff. And the best part is, is because there's so many different layers within each of these floral sprays or each of the flowers, I can play around with which ones are in the front, which ones are in the back, which ones are the stems, which ones are the buds. And I can really kind of play around with what I like. In the end, I end up picking out these beautiful buds and then the roses, and I don't end up using the other ones that I originally picked. And that's the beautiful thing is that if I don't like it, I can delete it, but I can always come back to it and get it in the future. Then it's just all about sizing and fitting it in the cluster that I'm arranging. I decide I wanna move the Happy Mother's Day down a little bit lower into the design because it doesn't quite fit in the center with the floral spray that I have in the corner. Then I decide I also wanna put one in the top corner because having one in one corner is awesome, but having Having one in the opposite corner is even better. So all I have to do is copy and paste and then resize and reorientate. The colors are already there. I don't have to refine the colors. It is so easy to like replicate the entire thing. I could group them, but I've chosen I didn't want to because I wanted to look a little bit different and not exactly identical. And then it's just about placing them into each of their places and making sure that they fit. And you know what? Once it's happy to my eye and I'm like, yep, that looks awesome, I'm good to go. Go. Then I kind of take a step back and I go, you know what? It needs a little something in the other corners, but not floral sprays. And looking at all the other designs within this program, there's amazing decorative corners. So I pick out a cool decorative corner and copy and paste it and put it in that same dark royal blue color, which is fabulous. Place it in the corner. Once I have the perfect thickness to my extra extension to that corner piece, I just copy and paste it over and over, and then I can move it around and go 80 degrees, 90 degrees, 100, whatever, and place it into all four corners so it looks like it's a perfect scroll. Because I've chosen a size that is not a traditional size for all the regular rectangles. And then I just kind of reorientate a little bit of my floral spray to make sure it fits perfectly. Then there is a really, really cool application, which are the textures. So you pick a texture and there are amazing textures that you can pick. And instead of it just being a flat color, you can pick a texture, overlay it. When you add a texture, it really just emphasizes and adds a little something to each of it. So it gives it this kind of really cool feature to the whole thing, which makes it absolutely beautiful. Then I just rename my file and then save it. And then do not forget to download it. So you have it saved to your computer so you can make as many copies of this as possible. You can also go in and select a file that has already been pre-made by somebody else. So you can actually go and take my old file, but I picked somebody else's file and my jumping point for creating my Mother's Day card. Originally it said something else, but of course we're making a Mother's Day card. So I renamed the word and then I'm gonna change the sizing between the two layers of font. So instead of it being wide spaced, they're gonna 
kind of get smashed closer together so that way it fits in the space between all the flowers and then I'm playing with the textures again this time instead of just doing the floral textures I'm playing with all the different features the best way to play with this program is just go in and click it and see if you like it if you don't like it you can hit undo or pick a different one there's no wrong way to do it it's all easy and you can always click undo don't forget to rename your file and if you're wanting to share your file with everybody else make sure you go in and click share and that way everybody can have a chance to share a file and don't forget to save it to your desktop so you can print it out for yourself I went ahead and downloaded and then printed out the three graphics that I wanted to create into cards these two I made and just changed the background color which is so easy this is one that was already made and in the design center so anybody can download it and tweak it and alter it and I just changed it to happy Mother's Day super simple so I've cut them down to size now it's time to pair them with mats and I just found coordinating card stocks that I thought would go really well with it so now it's just time to lay everything on here so just a little adhesive the little adhesive on the back of all of them super super simple just lay that down can't get any easier than just a little stick and paste doing these cards and creating a graphic is so much fun because you can really have play around with your design it's like playing with a digital stamp it's just there's no way to go wrong with it and if you don't like it the color is not right guess what you can hit undo and start over again this is also great with kids because you can have a whole bunch of options for different types of card layouts maybe designs that you've created and then give them papers everything's all cut and then they just have to assemble it so then you can take this to like a Girl Scout meeting or like a, a school event you know if you want all the kids to make Mother's Day cards and you can have different phrases on here you can say happy Mother's Day happy grandmother happy caregiver day it doesn't have to say specifically Mother's Day it could even just say happy birthday I mean so sky's the limit on what you can do and once you've made your design and you've downloaded it, you can print it as many times as you want. So you can have so many fun options for so many cards. You don't have to just do the one card and be done. You can mass produce a bunch of cards and your card is gonna be very unique compared to anybody else's because it has the design that you've created. Maybe you've changed the background. Maybe you had a different matte color, you know, and maybe your size is different because I can scale the size to be bigger for like a five by seven, or I can scale this to be a little bit smaller, or I can scale it down to fit on an A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So many fun design ideas that you can create, including handmade Mother's Day cards. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make some really cool designs using the Kettle program. It's a web-based design program where you can make so many cool graphics. And don't forget to download the free Mother's Day graphics that I made so you can make your own Mother's Day cards, which are super fun and easy. And along with all the other amazing graphics that are there that other designers have uploaded to share with everybody. It's a wonderful community of like creators and sky is the limit of what graphics you can create with Kettle. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out these videos on the side here for more fun content from my channel and I will see you guys again later. Bye everybody.